Hi, I'm Caitlin and this is Tuesdays with TechChin. Today, I'm going to teach you all about some basic Excel functions. We'll start off pretty simple with the sum formula. It's pretty self-explanatory. This function calculates the total value of all the cells that you pick. All you have to do is write equals sum open parentheses and then select the cells that you want to add up. You can close formulas by putting a close parentheses or hitting enter. With this, I can easily see that I'm expecting to spend about $50 at the grocery store. Now we'll move on to the count formula. This function gives you the number of filled cells that you pick, regardless of the value that's inside of them. Just type equals count, open parentheses, and then select the cells that you want to count. This shows me that I'll be buying 15 different products at the store. You should note that count works with numbers and not text. Next is the average formula. This function gives you the mean average of the cells that you choose. It simply equals average, and then once again, selecting the cells. Each of these formulas is pretty simple, but you can add another layer to them by just using the phrase if. Let's start with sum if. Say instead of wanting to know the total amount I'm spending at the grocery store, I wanted to know how much am I spending only on fruits. I'll put equals sum if, then first select the data that I want to use as my filter. Next, I'll enter in my filter criteria, which in this case are going to be cells that say fruits. Because my criteria is text, I want to make sure to add quotation marks around it. Lastly, I'll pick the data that I want to sum up. Now, when I hit enter, I can clearly see that I'll be spending $16 on fruit. The if function tacks on to the count and average function in a really similar way. Let's say I wanted to know the number of vegetables that I was buying. I'd use the formula equals count if, then select the data I'll use for my filter, and then enter in my filter criteria, which now is vegetables. Hit enter, and I can see that I'm planning on buying six different vegetables. If I wanted to know the average I'm spending on my meat products, I can use the average if formula, where I first pick the data for my filter, enter in the filter criteria, then lastly pick the cells that have the numbers I want to find the average of. This will show me how much I'm spending on average for each meat. I hope you can find some good use for these Excel functions. We'll go over some more next time.